DevOps isn't just a set of technologies, it's also a culture and a way of working. Back in the old difficult days of IT, we used to make plans that involved putting together huge presentations and huge notebooks of diagrams and then a mini staged set of instructions about how we're going to roll out a grand new architecture. In today's modern, fast-moving IT environment, cloud computing demands that we work incrementally. We can't spend a year making a grand plan and then three years implementing it with nothing changing along the way. The good thing about DevOps is it's really compatible with working incrementally. There's no large single step you have to take, no cliff you have to climb before you get to use DevOps. DevOps is a series of many different technologies that work very well together, but can be deployed incrementally. The most important thing in the culture of DevOps is realizing that you're in the business of really building and running applications that people are going to use. Programming isn't a theoretical act in which a program that works fine in the laboratory or on the laptop is done. That's not how programming is these days. Software runs on large, complicated cloud-based systems. And in the culture of DevOps, we take seriously the movement of software all the way from the design stage through continuous integration and continuous deployment onto running and scaling up on production systems. In the old days, we talked about a siloed organization, a vertical groups of people who don't talk very much to each other. There was a set of people who kept the data center running and locked themselves behind a glass door with a lot of security codes. And there was a very different set of people who wrote new applications and every now and then would send one over and say, run this. Those days are gone. The creation of new servers is now something you do from a command line. In the worst case, companies can find that they have rogue departments who are bringing up whole new clouds and whole new sets of servers with no real plan and no integration with how the rest of the company works. Basically, business units start bypassing IT and saying what you do is um, caught in the past by our point of view, so we're just going to do our own thing. That's called rogue IT, departmental IT that runs away in a direction that really isn't thought out with respect to issues like security, efficiency, and automation, but usually is very well thought out in terms of what the applications are supposed to do. DevOps brings together parts of the company that historically don't cooperate very well by giving them new tools that automate, simplify, and make more predictable the acts of working with cloud computing. And yet, DevOps doesn't depend on working on an external cloud. DevOps works great on on-premise computing or on virtual clouds that may run on top of your on-premise machines. DevOps is a modern set of technologies for deploying, configuring, and managing software that runs across a range of machines and that is improved over time. DevOps involves a lot of notions of continuous improvement. And we see that in the term CI-CD, which is continuous integration and continuous deployment. Continuous integration means that as engineers are building new software, they need an engineering infrastructure that's always online, that's available for them to put out a new build of their software and make sure that it works as intended. This greatly increases the productivity of developers and allows them to run their software quickly on a cloud that looks like the production cloud. Continuous deployment is the act of routinely taking newly built software and putting it onto machines to be used. We find that most companies do best when they either have different clouds that are used for development and testing and for production, or if at a very minimum, they have two sets of production machines, old and new. This is called a blue-green deployment, sometimes called a red-black deployment. In blue-green deployments, New software is put on one group of servers, while the old software remains on the old group of servers. Traffic is gradually redirected from the old servers to the new ones, and system monitoring allows you to see whether that automated deployment was a success, and more importantly, whether the software that was deployed is working as intended. Does it have bugs? Is it generating alerts? Are there scalability problems? Are users complaining? Or is everything fine? When we deploy new software, gradually redirect traffic onto it and see that it's working fine, then we can gradually take down the machines that ran the old version of the software. We can either destroy those machines by deleting them from the cloud, or we can, if there are physical machines that we own, simply repurpose them and let them switch roles. Now the new machines are the old ones and the old machines are the new ones. 
But DevOps isn't just about bringing in new technologies. DevOps is a cultural change in which we take seriously how does cloud computing work and how do the people who are building applications work with the people who have to keep those applications running. What we found at FP Complete is that culture change is easier to do when you bring people tools that actually make their jobs easier. Telling me to work differently, I might not be excited. Giving me a tool that helps me to work differently, now I'm excited to try that. In DevOps, we give developers tools that allow them to work better with cloud computing and with system administrators. We make deployment a normal part of what software engineers think about. In DevOps, we give system administrators tools to really understand what's going on with the software. It's no longer a mysterious thing that's just using up their system resources. There's a constant stream of collaboration between the IT workers and the development workers. DevOps improves the world for developers greatly by allowing them to test their software in an environment that looks just like the production environment and by giving them new builds of their software ready to use whenever they need. Remember that developers spend more time fixing problems than they do writing new features. DevOps reduces that time, tightens that feedback loop, and gives developers their time back to work on building new business features for customers. DevOps makes the world better for IT and for system administrators by giving them far more insight into what's going on with the software, all the way from when it's being built, to when it's being deployed, to when it's in operation. DevOps makes the world better for IT by making things much more predictable. When a new piece of software is deployed, it doesn't have to be carefully integrated with old components using microsurgery that might go wrong and create a security risk. Instead, software works in a predictable way. Deployments are automated, QA has already been done on those same deployments, and deployment of a new piece of software can be a calm and routine affair. At FP Complete, we work with companies who deploy new software every month, every week, every day. At FP Complete, we talk about DevOps as a way to build a software factory, to turn your company into a productive center of creation of new features that come out all the time routinely, new builds, new deployments, new features being exposed to customers. If you think about the companies that are tremendously successful at DevOps, let's look at Amazon, for example, or Microsoft. You don't log on to their sites and get a big notification that says we've replaced last year's version with this year's version. Their sites just continually upgrade all the time. Deployments are so reliable at these companies that new software is deployed every day. And DevOps is strong enough that that doesn't burn out their staff. And automation is strong enough that if something is deployed and it doesn't work, that's okay. Rolling backward to the previous version is done quickly through a series of automated steps.